don't you know, understand when, yeah. when my when I was young, I don't know if you remember uh, the musical here. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Less, less well, apparently, apparently, towards the end, you know, six people are naked, mm -hmm. um, and for that reason, I did not want to go and see it. Mm -hmm. But my sister went, and she said, "Oh, it's wonderful! They're standing there, and their penises are dangling, and the women with their..." I said, "I don't want to see other people naked." You know, me neither. You know? Me neither. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's funny, you know. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm funny. I was thinking about that movie in the car or that show Hair today mm -hmm. because some of the music came on. You know, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with being naked, right. but it's got to be, it's got to be in a love thing. You know, I totally agree. Funny. I totally agree. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a with a couple being naked together, you mm -hmm. know, um, but not on stage. I don't have to see that. I, 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 I like that. Uh, and, and, you know, it's like um, we are all kind of interested, though. And, you know, you say you, do, you, you would never watch one of these horror movies. Now, I, I don't understand that either. I can't even look at the pictures of these monsters. And, you know, people go and these monsters, they, they, they scream and yell at you. They come in 3D all around you. I don't know why you would expose yourself to something like this. Yeah. Now, now okay. everybody is curious, though, about, you know, like, all right, you know, I know what I look like naked. You know what you look like naked. And and yet, you know, there's there's always this 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 thinking like, you know, am I okay, right? So you know. No, I'm, I'm not shy because this is what I am, and I can't change it. Mm -hmm. God made me, and He doesn't make rubbish. Oh, I shouldn't say that. Sometimes He makes rubbish. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he, and and even he made, he, some, he just, made some Belgian people, didn't he? Oh, he did. Oh, yes, he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> and he probably has, you know, you know, it's like this guy I was married to. He was not really a bad person. You know, I, I think we were really good friends. I was just not in love with him. You know, it's like, um, like, yeah. like to, 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 there were outer uh, circumstances that made me feel like, yeah, all right, I need to stay with this guy. That's better than where I come from. But, um, you know, and, and, and we are all equipped differently. Now, you say, you know, you were talking about penises dangling. Well, this guy had a real big one. <laughs> Sorry to say. Now, b b among guys, that's a, that's a good thing, right? But then women are all built differently, too. Only you can never see this. And, I, I, you know, we, we don't know how we're different, so we don't have the size issue. But I can tell you, you know, if I may be frank with you, you, you say you're not, you're yeah. not shy or anything. Well, no. I, I'll be frank no. with you. This thing was too big for me, <laughs> so it always uh, hurt. And and so I have a, so, I have a friend, a friend in on the Gold Coast near Brisbane, and uh, poor Melissa, she's had, um, I think, two husbands, five boyfriends, or six boyfriends two different children and, and she talks to me about everything and she had a guy like that too he said thank he tears me apart she said how can i enjoy that yes. how can i have feelings for a man like that right. you know mm -hmm. he's so too big i said well melissa if you're not happy go yeah. move you know there are other people you, you in know the world. What the, yeah. And you know what the problem is? Like, I didn't even know that. I, you know, who ever talks about that something like this? And and this is what I would like to do. Uh, you know, we need to be open and and share those those share. really important if a, if details. A, yeah, if a friend needs help, a friend needs help, and it doesn't matter what it is. Actually, it's a funny thing. I went to my couple of years ago. I went to my doctor and I started talking about private parts. She says, uh oh, don't go there. I said, if you are my doctor, you're the only one who I can discuss things with, you know? Right. Uh, because when, you, when you're diabetic, uh, certain things happen in your body which are changing and different. 
but she could never understand that. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I dumped my doctor only a few months ago because I felt she doesn't understand diabetes. Now I've got a new doctor, mm -hmm. and she's a lovely have... lady from South Africa, mm -hmm. and she's fantastic. Do you have a, I can talk to do you me. have diabetes? Huh? Do you have diabetes? I've got that. Yeah, oh. I'm diabetic, yeah. Oh, okay. If I became a vegan, I probably wouldn't be. I believe so. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. It's it's amazing. I was, I, you know, um, because I was so unhappy, I was totally addicted to chocolate. Totally, since childhood. I, I had at least one bar of chocolate a day. And, and ever since I eat vegan, I, I don't, even sugar, you know, I rather eat, you know, good vegetables and, and, uh, um, and fruits and, and I have some grains and I make like the most amazing things, you know, guided. You would not believe what the, 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 the things I cook, nobody makes that out there. It's, it's, you okay. know, I'm amazed myself. And, and I don't have that craving anymore because, well, I cleaned up my, my whole behavior, everything. And, and I believe also that diabetes, you know, you say this African doctor is really, um, you know, she's, she's reaching you, she, she's, she's with you. This is what's going to, it can eventually even heal London. you. I'm sorry? She studied in London. Okay. But she's already, I used to be with my diabetes around uh, 14 to 16 to 18. Um, now I'm really getting low, eight, nine because um, I, I take a little bit of insulin in the morning and a bit at night, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. but it was only 10 points. He said, no, increase it to 30. You need it. Take it, you know. Mm -hmm. But the other doctor, if I said, I'll take it from 10 to 12, oh, no, don't go there, don't take more. Well, if you don't, if you don't take what you need, then your body is out of whack. It's you know? out of balance, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah, you know, totally this is amazing because look at look at what, what you just said. If you don't if you don't get what you need or don't take what you need, yeah. your body gets out of balance. Well, we have millions and billions of people out there. They don't get what they need need either. This is why our world is out of balance, and and yeah, this yeah, is yeah, what yeah. we need to adjust. And you know, I'm not for communism. But, but you know why? It's all because of the GMO foods and the stuff the poison they've been putting into the food, the water, the medicines, mm -hmm. and you can blame that on companies like Monsanto and many, many other companies, and they don't care about humankind. Yeah. But with diabetes, if you're, if you're out of whack, funny things happen to your body, you know? You can't get a, uh, um, an erection, you can't get a climax, you can't, there's lots of things uh, and this doctor, she gets me uh, back into shape basically within three weeks. Um, I struggled because I broke my arm, this arm, um, about 10, 12 weeks ago. Mm -hmm. But I'm still struggling to get it straight, you know. Right. The bones, uh, actually, I fell in this motel uh, 10 weeks, 11 weeks ago, this motel, the room next door. Mm -hmm. um, I just I just turned the TV on at night and I slowly walked backwards looking at the TV and my left leg caught the corner of the bed mm -hmm. and I, I lost my balance and I fell next on the floor and crunch, I could hear it, you know. Right, right, wow. But this doctor again, she said, you need physio, you know, upstairs, she says, Here's a form, go, you know, my doctor did nothing, the other doctor, mm -hmm. um, but yes, yeah, he's getting me back on the, the right track again. Cool, so. oh, good for you, good for you. Well, you know, yeah. um, I, I have a friend in Africa, actually, this, this guy, he's starving, he's 19 years old, right? He wants to, he wants to yep. study to be a doctor, but he doesn't have the money. Well, you know, to me, he is a doctor. You know why? This guy is love personified. He cares about people. You know, he has nothing. When, when I'm not doing well because, you know, things are really not working out here for me yet, um, he has a kind word for me. He, he, he hears yeah. me. He feels me. 
And this is what I hear from, from your doctor, you know. She, you say she's from Africa also. The people in Africa, to me, that's like the kindest people you want to meet. And I don't want to say all of them, but there are many that I met. She's only about five foot, and she's also a Muslim. She wears a scarf, but she is a very intelligent lady. Mm -hmm. You know, my, my blood pressure um, was actually pretty high. She wasn't happy with that. And she put me on different medication, and I came back from my trip from Perth. She said, now you've got the blood pressure of a 16-year-old. You know, she says, go out there. <laughs> 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 yeah, but so you know, do, do you know, like, if, if you feel good about yourself, if somebody, you know, builds you up like that, then then you get yeah. healthy. Then you then we don't need doctors. We don't need medication. And, and you know, you're right. I, you know, I don't, I'm not that sure about, like, how much poison they put in the food. I know that there's a lot of poison in our human attitudes, you know, people who go to, to horror movies. Why would they do that? There's there's so much shit, I'm sorry to say, so much shit in our heads and hearts yeah. missing here, actually, you know. That's what we need to change because, you know, bottom line is like the people in the industry that, that are, you know, that we say they put all this poison in there, well, they want to live too. They need to go to the stores and buy the foods that they're selling. So I cannot yeah. imagine that it's all that bad. No, no, certainly, you know, things have been done, you know, chemicals have been sprayed and, and you know, bad things have, have happened. But, uh, you know, we have enough technology in place that we all have, you know, enough to, to thrive and have fun. You know, like your doctor says, go out there and have fun. <laughs> well, you know, uh, certain things happen when you get old and you can't help that. Um, uh, but at least... What she's doing, she's putting basically the life back into me. Yeah, you know. I feel. Hey, uh, I'm I, I still I'm still young, but the thing is, if your body tells you differently, then uh, you've got to do certain things, and and if you don't know what to do, then at least you doc you expect your doctor to know. But my my last doctor's, I don't think she cared. Because actually it said somewhere here tonight on Facebook, um, doctors are too much connected to the pharmaceutical company. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a, yeah. bus it's a business. Yeah. They don't care about you. It's like next, you know, they get money from the insurance. They, of course, have pressures too from, from the insurance companies. So they don't get that much. So the, the less they get from the insurance company, the less we get as people from them and and, you know, and doctors right we don't need doctors doctors are just you know what what can they do you know we are we are human so might, we are nature the shop. i'm sorry yeah, you, might, you might as well go to the chemist shop yeah. because at least a chemist, a chemist is a doctor too really yeah um uh, but um yeah i, I see, think see i can tell you i was i was just at the dentist right that's a fourth dentist yeah. I go to because I need implants. They all told me different things. One can do it all. The next says, well, I can't do it here because you don't have enough bone. The next one says, well, I can't do anything on the bottom because there's not enough bone. They all tell you a different story. And then they say we need to trust them. They, you know, they don't know themselves. They don't know anything. And then they have like equipment. One has a 3D x-ray machine. The next one says, well, I don't have it, so I can't give you that service. So it's like, well, why would I go to you? You know, yeah, so yeah, it, and just like he's withholding that technology. This is how, how Daimler, for instance, and, and not just Daimler, the entire auto industry is withholding the technology of running, you know, their cars on on, um, on quantum mechanics because we don't need any we don't need any gas we don't need any natural resources resources for no machine. So why are they not applying that? I wonder. You know, if, if they say they're so yeah, smart, no, I'm stupid. It, me, it, it, darling, darling, it's the taxes. It's the taxes.